שלום לכולם. אנחנו מהבית שלנו בגליל, מסתכלים על הכנרת. Here we are from our house in the Galilee, looking at the Kinneret, the Sea of Galilee. And my beloved is doing the number three because it's already the third time. I thought it's the fourth time. Well, probably it's fourth. Four or fourth time. But, but it's, all, it's all good, okay? It's all good. But we felt so strong this morning. Noam woke up. He says, I feel we have to do a video. I woke up and I said, we have to do a video. And when we feel that urgency of the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKadosh, you, we can't stay silent. We just cannot stay silent. Right. And because the situation now is still looks oh. very gloomy, mm -hmm. and when you look at, sound, look at the news, it's, it's so confused, the chaos, and you don't see, I say, the light in the end of the tunnel. Right. Right. Yes, but this is where, again, we have to focus on the Spirit. Yes. And we need to overcome issues that stop us from seeing His will, from mm -hmm. discerning His will. And one of the things is fear. Because fear stops us from making any changes. Right. And we talked about... And from believing, Noam. And from believing when the Lord speaks something, yeah. you know, and, the spirit of fear it. will just block... From you being obedient. Yes, and exactly, and obeying to what he says. And no, no, this is I can't do that. Yes. And all kind of obligations, fear, responsibility like us. comes up. Like yeah. us being here, in the middle of chaos, in the middle of not knowing exactly what it's going to be, in the middle of all of a sudden tourism stops. The Lord says to us, "Pack up your bags and move to the Galilee." Now. In the natural, which, hello, I fight. I'm sure there's others that fight it too. That doesn't make sense. And I said, Lord, okay, this doesn't really make sense because there's not an income coming in. Lord, that doesn't make sense. Uh, but, but the good thing about it, um, we did it. We did it because we, we love the Lord and fear the Lord and wanted to be obedient to the Lord and to be in His perfect will. And it, my beloved just said now something that is in uh, Malachi mm -hmm. uh, chapter 3, verse 14. What profit do we have mm -hmm. from following your commandment, the Lord commandment? Mm -hmm. So you see, when you're trying to be practical, you think like that. Yes. And then you start to worry. And right. then your fear gets in. And you get frustrated when the situation out there is worse and all the riots and the... And the, uh, I mean, it's, it's such lawlessness. And my thing sitting over here in Israel is, man, I want to rise up on a horse. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, why, why can't it be stopped? Mm -hmm. So when Noam shared that scripture, I thought, well, I can't be the only one that's thinking this, Noam. I can't be the only one because it doesn't make sense. And many, many believers are getting hit. Many believers are losing their homes and they're losing their businesses. Lord, where, where, where is the purpose? The purpose is to know the king who sits on the throne. Yes, and to understand mm -hmm. that he wants to change us. Yes. You see, and that's why to think, okay, when is it going to come back? Mm -hmm. We actually miss the boat thinking mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. That's how you say it, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, because actually we need to think, okay, what yes. does he want us to do? Why is it happening? Mm -hmm. And so we focus on him. Yes. And that changed everything. Because this coronavirus brings forth a really important point. Yeah. Who do we trust? Do we trust the doctors, the science, you the know? The government. The government. Or we trust the Lord. Yes. And, and we listen to him because there's so much confusion. It's... Unbelievable. You hear this report, that report, wear the mask, don't wear the mask. I mean, and then all of a sudden, Noma and I said, he's trying to narrow our vision. It's kind of like the horse with the blinders. So we will listen to him and trust his wisdom, which he gives to us, and to say, okay, Lord, I put my hope and trust in you. Therefore, I will never be put to shame. Right, and that's why when we knew that we need to move here, right. it gave us such freedom mm -hmm. and such sense of purpose and direction. Right. 
in the midst of chaos and worries and frustration that I felt we like won the lottery. Mm -hmm. It's I can't describe in in words. It's because we're in the will of the Father. Yes, and and being above all that, right. having such peace and joy in the midst of the chaos. Yes, in the midst. That's where we need to be. And also, I said to Noam, I said the Lord keeps on giving giving me Sodom and Gomorrah in the days of Noah. You know, think about it. Noah had to listen to ridicule, mockery you know, everything else at him for all those years he was building the boat. He still had to live in that mess. And you think about that, that's like, what? what? Why didn't you just deliver him out of it, Lord? Why didn't you just deliver him out of it? It's God's timing. And it's the same thing with Sodom and Gomorrah. It was God's timing uh, to get Lot out of there. And he still had to endure what's around him. But the Lord's teaching us. I know it, Noam. I know yes. it. He's teaching us how to maneuver our way through the ugliness and still hang on to Yeshua. Right. And that reminds me of the book of Job, that what Satan mm -hmm. told the Lord. Mm -hmm. Well, Job have everything. Of course he would be obedient to you. Yeah. But what, let's see what happens when you take everything away. Wow. Let's see if he will still be obedient. Wow. So you see, the Lord is, is checking us now. Okay, yes. before mm -hmm. you had everything. I mean, of mm -hmm. course, you had all these worries and so on. Right. But relatively to what's going on now, everything was dandy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's see now if you can still keep your faith. I mean, if that, this is not a test. I don't know what is. For so many of us that are walking this in the name of the Lord. I mean, but the testing is so good right now. The testing is is right for us. And let me share something else that the Lord gave me. He gave me Malachi 3.3. 3. Mm -hmm. Such an urgency. And that was sitting in Maccabi where I finally got my health care. Finally, I have my card. I have my card. After how long? Over a year, I have my card. And I'm sitting there waiting uh, for us to be called to the desk and the Lord just it was like he, he just interrupted everything which I love when he does and it was Malachi 3 3 he said he will sit as a refiner and a purifier of silver he will purify the sons of Levi which are the priests which we are the priests and the kings and purge them as gold and silver that they may offer to the Lord an offering in righteousness an acceptable offering of righteousness and this is what hit me. I looked at Noam. I said, Noam, we have heard for so long, um, you know, calling down fire, calling down fire, calling down fire. But the thing is, most of the church just thought it was more power and more excitement and more, let's have a good time. Well, guess what? Because the church has called down fire, the Lord said, okay, I'm going to give it. And here it is, the refiner's fire. It is the refiner's fire for the church because he's got to get the dross and the impurities out of the church, out of us, out of his bride. He, and, and, and we haven't listened before because I've heard so many times say, well, let's have a party in the spirit. Party? He's a holy God. He's holy. He's holy. And we got to understand that he is holy. And he's not giving us he will at one time give us a way of escape, but I don't believe it's yet. Right. And what you just gave now, my beloved, is actually an example of mm -hmm. deceiving ourselves. Mm -hmm. And there is a scripture in Jeremiah 9, 6 that says, Through deception they refuse to know me. You see, just like what you described, actually people end up deceiving themselves. Yeah. And in doing that... They don't know him. Right. And also, our way of escape, I understand, we are waiting. Trust me, no men are waiting. But again, we felt to share this with you. When the religious spirit came after um, Yeshua mm -hmm. and wanted to seize him, well, it's, that spirit can be anything. The 
the ridiculous lawlessness, the ugliness that we're seeing in the streets and what's happened in major cities. I mean, uh, I, I think about that couple trying to guard their house with the guns. Uh, but the Lord is he's saying, I will give you a way of escape like I did with Yeshua. You will walk through those that even want to seize you. You will walk through, and that's something that we're going to take. Right, and that's why you should also saying that you, we need to mm -hmm. uh, be wise as a serpent and right. gentle as a dove. Right. Meaning to be able to maneuver like a snake going around obstacles mm -hmm. and not headstrong. No, we are just fighting it on. No, we need to maneuver. Yeah, and, how do we maneuver through Right, it? and that helps us to be in the world and not off the world. Right. You see, and that really helps us not to be wary. Right. Because fighting the world wears you down. It is. It exhausts you. Yes. yes. So we need to be detached from all that. Yes. Really. And fight in the spirit. We need to fight the principalities, powers of dark in the spirit. And that's what the Lord is really saying to us. And also the fact it wasn't Yeshua's time when they wanted to seize him and stop him and so it wasn't his time right. and we have to understand the timing of the lord the timing we have to give our what we think is our timing his timing we need to hand it over to him and say lord you you roughed him up and you let the crowds push in on him and don't, don't all of you feel, especially in America, of uh, being pushed in? Oh my word, it's like, I, I want to get on a horse and ride through the crowd. Okay, that's me. You know, that's just me. Yeah. And I'm going, Lord, give them wisdom to maneuver and let the voice become, the church become one voice of unity. Really, truly one voice of unity and to cry to the heavens. And literally to cry unto God in a time of refiner's fire. It's a time of refiner's fire. Right. But to do that, we need to focus on basic. Mm -hmm. And the very basic is the first commandment. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and so on, you know. And love your neighbor as yourself. Mm -hmm. I was so convicted last year on that scripture because I realized this is so basic. Right. And yet... If I examine myself in, on a daily basis, I'm not really fulfilling it. So it's a challenge for all of us, really, yes. to go to stick to basic. You don't need to right. know many scriptures. Yeah. Examine yourself daily. Right. See if you go with the first commandment. And the Holy Spirit is our helper. He's our helper. And if yes. you think about it, being refined with fire hurts. Being refined with fire, when you when you see the true refiner's fire come and wants to purge you of impurities and all those things, it's it's the hour is now. I I personally know the hour is now in my life, and so we have to embrace not the good times roll. You know, yes, we can have joy in the Lord, which which gets us through the battle and know another thing, like the Book of Martyrs. We read it as if it will never be a part of our lives. Yeah. Yeah, well, that was back then and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm telling you, the church is under attack. There's no doubt about it. The church, the believers are under attack, as it has been in many other nations. As it has been in many other nations. But now he's saying to the church in America, let me refine you. Let me get all of the nonsense and all the counterfeit stuff that, that people have run to. Let me do it. Let me do it because I love you so much. Even in the midst of this chaos, he loves us so much. He could stop it like this, like this. He could stop it like this. Right. But I believe it's his timing, his timing. Yes, and we need, what we need to do in our part is let go. Mm -hmm. And know that I'm God. That's right. the scripture actually in Hebrew for be still. You know, in Psalm mm -hmm. 46, it's not be still, it's let go. Yes. Meaning that you have control on your life. You're holding this control. And right. the Lord is saying, no, open your hand. Let go right. of it. Let me control you. And you see now with the coronavirus how 
this control that we usually has had in our lives, yes. suddenly we lose it. Right. We lost it. Like, like no income coming in. We always depended on the income, and now all of a sudden, tourism is done. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, wait, Lord, I, I'm not really enjoying this because you said abundant life, but he said, this is abundant life knowing me. One other thing I think it's really important for people to hear, if you at all possible can take your children or your family or husband, wife, or mm -hmm. your, your group or your church group, get to Kentucky and go to the ark. I feel that such a, the Lord laid a prophetic picture in reality, the same size as the ark, the same dimensions as the ark. And I'm telling you, he's saying, look it, this is the days of Noah. Noah still endured all those years. He still endured, but he was building. He was building the ark like Moses was set in the ark of safety. He was building it. And it's a prophetic picture to the church. It, it truly to the church because we know about Noah's story. We get it. But the Lord sets it in America. Don't you think that's interesting? He doesn't set it here. He doesn't set it over there. He doesn't. He sets it in America to say, get ready, get prepared. Let the refiner's fire come. I will walk you through it. I will refine you because I love you. Yes, and unfortunately, there is no easy way no. to just follow the Lord. And no. that's why Yeshua said we need to deny ourselves. Right. It's, there's no easy way because we, our old self want to be in control. Yes. And that's the bottom of the problems that it always want to be in control. Right. So we need to let go of this control and really let the Spirit of God in us be in control. Of course, it's not easy. No. And that's why we need to break down. There is no easy. And the not broken, easy at the all. humble. It's really, yeah. it's really being humbled. I mean, I know with us, it's really being uh -huh. humbled. Uh, on total dependence on the Lord and we thank you for those that you believe that we're good ground here in the land of Israel and that some of you have said you've woken up the middle of the night and knew that you're supposed to sow into us. I mean you have no idea because that just encourages us, us to know yes. Lord I mean let us make a difference in this hour. Let us all make a difference in this hour in each other's lives. Right. And if I look at my walk of faith that my beloved actually took me step by step, she actually pushed me. She said, kick into the spirit or leave. Now, I believe this coronavirus mm -hmm. is pushing us to the spirit. That's when we were dating. Okay, that's <laughs> when we were dating. Just want to make that sure, you know, because I was watching for the fruit of the spirit. I was watching, where's his fruit? I got to see his fruit. And he has to walk in the spirit. So ladies, you singles ladies, don't settle for anything less. I don't care if you say to me, I want to get married, I want to, do not settle for anything less with the same vision, the same purpose, the same goal, and that is to serve the Lord. Right, but back to the point that the Lord is using the coronavirus to push us to the Spirit. Yeah. We need to understand it in that way yeah. and not to focus on the practicalities of life, right? which will lead us away from the Lord. And I'm not saying, we're not saying that it's not sometimes overwhelming. We are. But right. the Lord says, because he overcame, we are more than overcomers. Okay, Lord, now we're really going to have to walk this out. I mean, all the stuff, all the ugliness, Lord, teach us, Holy Spirit, how to maneuver through this and keep our faith and our stand in you. Right. And what really is the issue is what we emphasize. If we emphasize mm -hmm. the hardship, the fear, the mm -hmm. worries, then we'll be miserable. Right. But if we emphasize the Lord, how wow. generous look He was to doing. us, yes, and look what He had done in my life, and so on and so on, then right. we'll be uplifted. Right. We'll really behave as spiritual beings. So, Noam, we, first of all, Noam's going to pray in Hebrew because I get chills still too, um, even though I know some words now. <laughs> but that's after how many years? Uh oh. Uh oh. We're still there. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to have Noam pray in Hebrew. 
אלוהים, אלוהי אברהם, יצחק ויעקב, אלינו שבשמיים, אני מתפלל לכל הצופים, אבא, שתיתן להם את השלום שלך ואת ההגנה מפני כל הדברים מסביב, כל האי ידע, כל האנשים הרעים שרוצים להראות. אבא, הגנה ושקט, שלווה, אבא, ותראה להם את הדרך לכל אלה שמחפשים. בשם יהושע המשיח אני מתפלל ומבקש. אמן. Father, I pray for all the leaders, yes. the church leaders, and I pray, Father, Thank that there will be a spirit of unity that will rise up, Lord, and cry into your name and bring the people together and say, this is a walk, and the Lord is walking with us. Yes. Father, I thank you. I thank you, the Father. You are holy. You are the Holy One of Israel. You are holy. You are El Shaddai, Lord, that you will walk yes, us Lord. through this, Lord. You will provide us, but most of all, Lord, that we will We will keep our eyes on you, Lord, and that yes. we will encourage one another. We will encourage one another in this hour, Lord, and we will lift our voice to you. Yes. I pray this, Father, in the name of your holy son, Yeshua. Amen. 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 We love you guys. Love you. God bless. Bye-bye.